Welcome to this webinar, which provides insights into assessment with a focus on teachers in early learning and care settings in primary schools. These insights take account of research and are drawn from inspectors findings in early years education settings, as well as the guidance provided by inspectors to settings to promote improvement. Ashther defines assessment as the ongoing process of collecting, documenting, reflecting on and using information to develop rich portraits of children as learners. This echoes the key messages from the revised primary school curriculum, which also reminds us that assessment is about building a picture over time of a child's progress and achievement in learning across the curriculum. Information on how the child learns as well as what the child learns, shapes the picture. Elizabeth Dumphy's research paper, Supporting Early Learning and Development Through Formative Assessment, informed the development of Ashter, and this provides a valuable synthesis of key information and practical guidance in relation to assessment in early years context. Ashter, the revised primary school curriculum, and the recently introduced primary language curriculum are premised on the concept of the child as a confident and capable learner. They emphasize the need for a strength-based approach to assessment that captures the broad range of children's achievements, their learning dispositions, skills, knowledge and understanding. Where assessment practices were observed to be most effective, information about the child's emerging interests, thinking and learning strategies were gathered and used purposefully to inform teaching and to progress the child's learning. Making children's learning visible to them and with them is recognised as being of critical importance in early year contexts. Involving young children in assessment conversations about what they have learned and the strategies which they have used helps to further the development of their positive learning dispositions and skills. Insights from inspections in early education contexts show that assessment approaches which best support teaching and learning captures what matters most in the learning journeys of children, recognising their individuality and the importance of their relationships with others to their learning. These assessment approaches recognise the moments of critical learning for children and use this information to consolidate and extend the learning along with the child's sense of themselves as a learner. These moments of critical learning do not look identical for every child. We will now look at how the early years inspection framework can be used as a resource to support reflection on assessment practices in the context of infant classes in Irish primary schools. The Early Years Inspection Framework is underpinned by ASHTHER, the Early Childhood Curriculum Framework developed by the NCCA in 2009, and SHILTA, the National Quality Framework for Early Childhood Education, developed in 2006 by the Centre of Early Childhood Development on behalf of the Department of Education. Both of these frameworks centre on providing high quality educational provision for children aged 0 to 6 years. The inspection framework consists of four interrelated areas, each of these which has a number of associated outcomes. Area two looks at the quality of processes to support children's learning and development. This includes eight specific outcomes covering aspects of provision, including assessment. Each of the eight outcomes in turn has a number of signposts which illustrate the aspects of best practice in this area. Outcome five in section two of the framework focuses on assessment and the next slide will show the associated set of signposts il illustrating best practice in this area. The signposts shown here provide useful reflection points as we think about assessment practices in early educational contexts. 
they draw attention to the importance of engaging in an ongoing assessment of what children can do, say and make to create a rich picture of children's learning. They emphasise the need to take an holistic view of children's learning and the need to recognise what children can do independently and with support. They highlight the interrelationship between planning, assessing and teaching, emphasising that assessment is an integral, ongoing element of the teaching and learning process in early educational contexts. Reflection on assessment information and experiences helps teachers to plan for developmentally appropriate and meaningful learning experiences for young children. Using assessment information to provide feedback to children and extend their learning is of critical importance. Involving parents in the gathering and sharing of information about the child and their learning is also recognised as a distinguishing feature of best practice in early years context. Section three of the framework focuses on the quality of the children's learning experiences and achievements. Outcome 13 in this section in particular draws our attention to the benefits of actively involving young children in assessment processes. The Ashther Shield the Practice Guide published by the NCCA in 2015 is a very useful resource to support improvement in the quality of early education. It includes six discrete sections known as pillars of practice and one of these sections planning and assessing has particular relevance here. We will now move on to look at a range of assessment purposes and approaches. Two key documents which provide valuable support in relation to assessment practices are shown here. The NCCA guidelines, assessment in the primary school curriculum, and the guidelines for good practice that accompanied ASHTHER, supporting learning and development through assessment. They illustrate how assessment information can be gathered using a variety of approaches. They also illustrate how assessment information can be used to make learning more enjoyable and motivating for children. The continuum of assessment approaches depicted here from the ASHTHER guidelines on assessment illustrates the importance of having an appropriate balance of child-led and adult-led assessment approaches that are rooted in meaningful and authentic early learning contexts. These include moment-by-moment -moment conversations, observations, questioning and listening to children, along with a regular review of samples of children's work which can be gathered over time. The skillful use of open-ended questions and prompts to elicit children's thinking and to progress their learning is associated with very effective assessment practice. You may have heard the following quotation from Ted Milhouche, interactions drive development. Observation is an assessment approach most frequently reported by teachers in early year context. Sometimes this means that teachers are watching out for the achievement of particular learning outcomes and sometimes it involves recognising the incidental learning achievements that occur. Noticing and recognising creativity in the child's thinking and actions during their play and their interactions with others. Observation involves the ears as well as the eyes as it means listening to what children say and don't say to establish where they are in their learning and where they need to go to next. It is helpful to keep a record of some of these observations and conversations in order to celebrate the learning with the child or as a source of pedagogical documentation which supports professional reflection and planning the next steps in the teaching and learning journey. This might involve taking a photograph, an anecdotal note or completing an observation template from the Ashther Toolkit or the Ashther Shield the Practice Guide. It is important to remember that the emphasis is not on amassing large quantities of data. Only record that which is most relevant to each child and that which can be used to inform their learning in either the short or the long term. 
let us remind ourselves of the distinction between assessment of learning and assessment for learning and the purposes underpinning assessment practices. Assessment of learning is where teachers periodically gather and record summative information about what a child has achieved for the purposes of sharing with the child, their parents and other teachers. The primary language curriculum contains a number of online resources that support the monitoring and recording of children's learning achievements. Assessment for learning involves teachers gathering and using information about children's learning on an ongoing basis and using this to inform teaching and learning. It centres on providing feedback to children during interactions and adapting the environment to allow them to explore an emerging interest. Enabling young children to use the formative feedback provided to reflect on their own learning and to make connections in their learning has been affirmed as very effective practice in inspection reports. Margaret Carr from New Zealand, who researched and has written extensively on assessment in early year contexts, emphasises the importance of assessment as a means by which children construct their own identity and develop a sense of themselves as learners. We explore the concept of assessment in authentic, meaningful contexts for young learners a little further in the next slide, which looks at play. Children learn by playing and through play. Play provides an authentic, meaningfully rich context, not only for learning, but also for assessment. We can learn a lot by children about what they understand and how they think from playing with them and observing them play. They make choices about their play and use resources in creative and flexible ways. Children reveal their interest and ways of thinking about things through the play they initiate, orchestrate, extend and abandon. Through play, children display imagination, learning dispositions and their growing capacities to self-regulate and interact with others. Very often, they use and apply their knowledge, skills and understanding about the world around them through their play. Observing children during play and interacting with them can contribute to the building of knowledge and understanding about these children, their learning, their sense of identity and their readiness for the next step in the learning journey. It provides opportunities to gather information and make judgments about how children are understanding and using language, early mathematical concepts and skills in a variety of meaningful contexts. Play reveals how children are making meaning and helps to make visible the thinking that sometimes can remain hidden. Seeking patterns in children's play can provide valuable information about their emerging interests which can be used to plan for and progress learning in accordance with their interests, their strengths and needs. Where particularly effective practice was noted by inspectors, play contexts are used purposely to facilitate children's thinking and talking about their learning, enabling them to engage in meaningful self-assessment. The questions on this slide may be helpful to teachers as they reflect on assessing children's learning through play. Where assessment practice is found to be most effective, it involves the four Ds of a strength-based approach, describing the learning, discussing the learning, documenting the learning, and deciding on how this information would be used to inform the next steps in the teaching and learning process. Documentation is only one part of the assessment process, and it is evident from inspection findings that best practice in this regard reflects the individuality of the child and their journey over time. Learning stories which involve the children and their parents are particularly beneficial as a form of pedagogical documentation that strengthens children's learning and helps them to view assessment as a form of learning. Some examples of methods which we have observed include the use of anecdotal notes, narratives such as learning stories, records of children's conversations, reflections and self-assessments, photographs of children at play, mark making, work samples including their art, their construction, 
audio and video recordings. Some teachers and practitioners also find it helpful to incorporate reflection into the second linear sequence of assessment depicted at the bottom of the slide. Noticing, recognising, responding, recording and revisiting. The involvement of the child and other significant adults in their world is a crucial component of the assessment journey and this will be the focus of our next slide. We will now look at how parents and families can be meaningfully involved in their children's learning journeys through collaboration in assessment. Inspection findings indicate that involving parents as partners involves more than just sharing the child's assessment information with them on a regular basis. It also involves consulting with parents and listening to their particular perspectives on what and how their child is learning. A separate webinar has been prepared as part of this series to support parents to better understand assessment and their role in this to support their child. The transition from preschool to primary is a critical juncture in the child's learning journey and sharing information between parents, the preschool and primary teachers is crucial to supporting continuity in the children's learning and well-being. A series of webinars on the topic of transitions has been prepared. The Mushkeel template, which is available on the NCCA website, is very useful for sharing assessment information between preschool and primary schools. There will be an oc occasions when it will be necessary to liaise with other professionals in order to support children who may benefit from additional supports, for example, speech and language and occupational therapy. Painting a rich portrait of children's learning and development and using this information to progress their learning and development is an inclusive and collaborative process. To conclude this webinar, best practice in relation to assessment in early years contexts was distinguished by the following features. It is child centred and recognises the agency of the learner in the assessment process. The concept of the child underpinning assessment is that of a competent and confident individual and learner. It also recognises the holistic nature of learning and that it is strength based. That it is an ongoing process involving a variety of approaches. That it's based on authentic and meaningful learning contexts including play and playful learning, that it is a collaborative process and that it informs teaching and progresses learning. Here is a list of resources which you might find useful in further developing assessment practices. This brings us to the close of this webinar and we'd like to thank you sincerely for listening. Please note the dedicated email address at insights underscore info at education.gov.ie where you can send your comments and queries to us. Thank you. Mila Buikas. Mm -hmm.